out of shots, but we've seen here he can handle all of these things. Good. He stopped that all on his own. Hey everybody, Ethan here, and we're back for our next video with Thunder. We showed how to stop, uh, to stand through flush, stand through shot. Now we're gonna be moving on to stopping to flush and shot. As we work through these drills, all of it's happening in the yard and your dog's gonna get stickier and stickier and stickier. So you're gonna see, especially some of the introductory stuff that we've done with him as far as some steadiness work and obedience work, all of those things come into play here. So as you work through with your dog, um, don't be surprised if you make similar progressions relatively quickly in this controlled environment, the yard, okay? Once you get a general understanding of the stopping to flush and stopping to shot and standing, all of the above, then we've got to take it to the field. But we're gonna show you kind of what this looks like. Thunder got to go with me on a short, okay, okay, hunting trip here this last weekend uh, where he got to chase. Standing flush, standing shot, that looks pretty good. Good. Now we're gonna try and get some movement out of him. Okay, let's go, okay. So he's moving just as simple as feet actively moving. Here comes the bird. That one's pretty easy. Good. Oh, there goes another one. Good, okay. I brought a bumper, this kid loves to play fetch. This is gonna get him to move his feet in between, in between reps here. Good dog. We may be able to even utilize that to incorporate something, hold. No. All anticipation, he's ready for me to grab it. He's, he's trying to move too quick. Every session we can work on all the things here, folks, no. So taking the extra second there just to help him to settle down. He's young, he's full of all kinds of excitement. Let me see, there's my loaded one. Okay, do we get him moving? Okay, yeah, oh, whoa, good. So that one was kind of fun. Bird landed on the ground, not always helpful, but he's kind of to the point that um, he can uh, add a little bit of challenge in there. Most of this stuff looks a little bit easy for him. Let's get him moving again. Now, okay, I'm gonna try this here, folks. He's gonna be coming back with that bumper. He's gonna have a bird coming at him. Whoa, good. Putting a lot of things together. This is kind of showing some pretty serious brain power. And I'm out of shots. Good. Whoa. Good. Ah! A little verbal correction. Ah! Says, you did it wrong. Don't drop it. Don't over, um, don't overthink this. Don't get excited. Don't anticipate. Just wait a minute. And when I take it, we're good to go. I kind of like that. I think I've got just one or two more pigeons here. Okay. Let's try that again for him. Out of shots, but we've seen here he can handle all of these things. Good. He stopped that all on his own, okay? I was ready to stop him. I would have utilized belly collar, nick, 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 to get him to stop, but I didn't need any of it. As soon as he saw that, that all right there says, whoa, no. There's a reminder. That all says, folks, that he understands the stopping to flush. He does a pretty good job with the stop aspect of it when it comes to gunfire. Whoa. Good, one more for you. Get out of here. Um, he understands the stopping to flush. He understands stopping to shot. He's standing through flush and shot. He's doing a really good job with all of those things. And the next step for us will be to take it to the field. I will show you guys what that looks like. He's gonna come back with our bumper and we're gonna finish up this session. Pretty short one. Sweet here, good. 
that anticipation, he's like, are you going to throw another pigeon at me? Heel. Good. Nice. All of these things finish up. A pup that's bold, confident, excited to work for us. Almost too excited at times. We kind of got to help settle him down. But I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Thunder. Folks, we will see you in his next video. Thank you.